Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, USAF selects Jet Zero to build BWB prototype. GA pilots organize Lahaina airlift. Size fuel level sender granted STC approval. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. USAF selects Jet Zero to build BWB prototype. Jet Zero has benefited from the U.S. Air Force award of $235 million to build an airliner scale piloted blended wing body technology demonstrator in partnership with Northrop Grumman and Scaled Composites. The funds will be distributed over a four year period, culminating presumably in a 2027 first flight. The planned aircraft will be assembled at Scaled Composites' Mojave, California facility and powered ostensibly by a pair of Pratt & Whitney PW100 series geared turbofan engines. Initial reports suggest the demonstrator's completion will require additional capital beyond the $235 million award from the U.S. DoD Innovation Unit. Though not ascribed officially to the USAF's next-generation air refueling system, the Jet Zero demonstrator will likely inform the design of such. The DIU's initial solicitation to industry for a BWB demonstrator was made in July 2022. Additional details germane to the machine specifications and objectives were spelled out in the Air Force's Climate Action Plan. The Air Force stated, quote, The effort aims to mature BWB technology and demonstrate its capabilities, giving the department and commercial industry more options for future air platforms, end quote. The BWB demonstrator will depart radically from the tube and wing orthodoxy characteristic of legacy aircraft designs, comprising instead a modified flying wing architecture expected to reduce drag by upwards of 30% while improving lift. Coming up after the break, Resurgen Enstrom wants fresh faces. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. I'm currently using the Hartzell Talon, by far the best aerobatic propeller ever come out. I use the Trailblazer. It adds performance to the Super Decathlon and dependability, and it's rugged. Hartzell's been an excellent partner for Whip Air, just in terms of your product support, as well as keeping an eye on the market and developing new products that meet demand. It's helping us all have better performing airplanes. It's such a proud honor to fly behind that propeller. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. Resurgent Enstrom wants fresh faces. Enstrom Helicopter Corporation is bouncing back under the ownership of Chuck Surak and now looking for an infusion of fresh talent as it makes the most of its upswing. The firm has continued plugging away on, quote, exciting new rotorcraft models and features, end quote, as it addresses a, quote, unprecedented level of product demand, end quote, from the helicopter market. Under Surak's leadership, the company has more than 125 employees, but is ripe for expansion. Right now, Enstrom is looking for skilled engineers, managers, mechanics, and more. Gamma addresses FAA's powered lift SFAR and PRM. Gamma has formally submitted comments to the FAA's proposed SFAR for integration of powered lift, pilot certification and operation, miscellaneous amendments related to rotorcraft and airplanes. Gamma methodically worked with its membership to review subject proposal and put forward comments that reflect the SFAR's role in facilitating initial powered lift operations. Moreover, the SFAR will provide the regulatory environment requisite the collection of necessary operational data by which future permanent rulemaking will be informed. Sporties offers folding knee desk. Sporties has shown off its new aviator workstation in the form of a lap-bound organizer offering a stiff metallic 9 by 8 inch surface. The metal bifold lap desk allows pilots and passengers to put that open thigh space to use with a folding knee-mounted workplace for charts, notes, and devices. The lap desk features a clamp on the right side for keeping maps and papers in position during the flight, with the powder-coated steel board allowing the use of placement magnets anywhere else. Once unfolded, the 9x8 surface unfurls to 16 inches wide and 9 inches tall. Spirit Airlines and Wayman Aviation Academy Partnership announced. 
Florida Aerospace College Wyman Aviation Academy has announced a unique partnership with Spirit Airlines through the Miramar, Florida-based air carrier Spirit Wings Pilot Pathway Program. The partnership will provide graduates easily accessible local mentorships with Spirit Airlines pilots and a fast track to a flight deck career as a first officer with the airline. Wayman Aviation trains future pilots by way of competency-based training and assessment, an ostensibly superior standard of flight training recommended by the notoriously officious International Civil Aviation Organization. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. GA pilots organize Lahaina airlift. General Aviation aircraft owners and pilots mobilized their machines and mustered their skill, courage, and humanity in equal measure for a purpose of establishing a supply line by which to provide humanitarian relief to the people of fire-ravaged Lahaina. The supply line effort by which Lahaina was sustained during the fire's second week was conceived of and organized by CFI and flight school owner Lawrence Balter and Maui Brewing founder Garrett Marrero. Utilizing little more than text messages and social media, the pair recruited pilots, aircraft, volunteers, and donors. Volunteer pilots coordinated with local firefighters, who helped transfer badly needed supplies from aircraft to ground vehicles for transport and distribution to the community. In short order, the relief effort's logistics grew genuinely complex. Supplies were collected at a Maui Brewing warehouse, trucked to Kahului Airport, loaded aboard aircraft by volunteers, and flown to Kapalua. Upon arriving in Kapalua, emergency supplies were hurriedly unloaded by local firefighters and civilian volunteers determined to clear the ramp for the next arriving aircraft. Urgency and workload precluded quantification on the first day's efforts. On the airlift's second day, however, pilots made 57 drops delivering thousands of pounds of critical supplies to include food, pet food, and medications. And after these messages, SAIS Fuel Level Center granted STC approval. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. SICE Fuel Level Sender granted STC approval. SICE's next generation fuel sender, which features dynamic damping, pitch compensation, and expanded digital communication capabilities, has been granted FAA TSO C55A approval. Magnetic field sensor technology is patented by SICE and salient to the function of the company's fuel level senders. The function of subject sensors is predicated upon the premise that the electrical properties of certain ferromagnetic alloys, such as permalloy, are influenced by external magnetic fields. The described phenomenon, by dint of the careful situation of magnets, can be harnessed to measure angles. The effect approximates a compass with the flow on the surface of a volume of fuel functioning as north. After the fashion of a compass needle pointing northward in perpetuity, a SICE's fuel senders points always to the floats sitting atop the surfaces of host aircraft's fuel tanks. Regardless of the manner in which or the direction or degree to which the fuel volume is displaced, SICE's fuel senders point unerringly to the float. SICE's proprietary digital fuel quantity system utilizes high-tech sensors that facilitate accurate and repeatable measurement of aircraft fuel quantity down to changes in fuel level of less than 0.03 of an inch. The antecedent value represents considerably less than one-tenth of the U.S. gallon. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.